Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I wanna teach you how to replace a 2007 Kia Spectra strut assembly. So let's get into it. We're gonna change out the strut assembly for this 2007 Kia Spectra. Let's go. All right, so you can see here our strut assembly is cracked, the mound of it. Um, yeah, uh, this is the original part. So it's already 2021. This is 2007, so that is really old. We're gonna change out this whole strut assembly. This is how it looks, brand new. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is jack up your car, both sides, you know? Uh, I already pre-did mine, so you don't have to see it. Of course, chalk your tires, don't forget to chalk it. And yeah, do the other side as well, you know? Also, what you're gonna need for this thing is a, a 14 millimeter bolt for the sway bar and you're gonna need a 17 mm set of 17 millimeter bolts uh screws uh sockets for these uh uh for the connector on the knuckle uh what i pre-did is i sprayed it down with penetrating oil i put wd-40 just so i let it soak for a while so it can come out loose because these motherfuckers they're gonna be hard if you don't have a breaker bar like me hard to take out so yeah i sprayed it down with some wd-40 and i let it soak for a while Hopefully that shit comes loose. So yeah, let's start getting into it. All right, like I said, we're diving right into it. Um, we already pre-jacked our car, both sides, you know, took off the tires and the lug nuts and so forth, extra protection on there, chop the tires. Uh, yeah, so what you're gonna wanna do is pre-lube your strut as well as the bolts because they're they're on there pretty tight and it's probably rust welded. So yeah, you wanna spray it down with WD-40 or penetrating oil and give it some time to soak. Um, me, I turned the wheel. To the right so I could reach these bolts a little better. I'm gonna do it on the same. I'm gonna do the same on the other side when I'm ready. So after we're gonna start taking these out, or after all that, putting the pen training oil and so forth, we're gonna start by taking out the pins for the brake after we loosen these bolts. So let's get into that. Alright, so like I said, this is the brake line right here. We don't want to tangle that up or bend it. We're just gonna use a screwdriver to kind of pop out these tabs. You're gonna keep these. Uh, it's going to break loose our brake line, kind of. Uh, we're going to take out the other one. Yeah. Oh, I'm dropping shit. Uh, yeah. Just remember, these are important. Keep these. These are the, the clips for the brake line that you're going to take out. All right, so uh, we're going to take out the sway bar. Sometimes it's hard but, uh, for people, but I think I pre-lube mine, and I kind of... Uh, breaker barred it so it comes off pretty easy like this yep we should hold it in the back because there's also supposed to be another bolt there if not then just gotta hold it down you can hold it down with vice grips whatever fuck you're gonna do but yeah sway bar don't forget to remove this bolt this one came off fairly easy because of uh, we pre uh, what's that called? Pre used the penetrating oil and WD-40 on it. So yeah, we're getting our sway bar 14 millimeter loose right there. out of the way we're just gonna turn the wheel to the left side that way it can move just keep it down there for now and our sweet bar is done this might be the hardest part to take off this thing besides you know this uh, my best adv my best advice is pre uh, lubricate it with penetrating oil and then 17 millimeter wrench and a socket so forth and you're just gonna unscrew. Uh, so this one goes that way. This one goes this way. That's how you loosen. You don't want to keep doing this because you're not gonna get anywhere. So yeah, we're gonna loosen these. All right, so we got our bolts loose, you know. Um, just hand screw them out. 
this might be still connected but we might want to we might try to hammer that motherfucker out so i'm just unscrewing them uh always good to inspect them usually these things do come with uh uh like loctite usually they put loctite on these but we got blue loctite to put on these we're gonna clean them out also with a brake clean all right, so now that we took off the two 17 millimeter bolts and the sway bar, that's a 14 millimeter bolt right there. Uh, yeah, we pre-lubricated. Pre I gotta stress that because, you know, it gets super tight and rust welded there. So we're gonna, after that, we're just gonna turn the wheel a little bit so you can see it came loose. And now we're just gonna loosen these bolts up here, which is a 14 millimeter each. What you would wanna do is kind of like circle it with like maybe a whiteout or marker to, you know, when you put, replace it back in you know exactly uh, where it should be. So we're gonna take these out slowly and then we're gonna hold it with the last thing with the under and slowly shuffle it out. All right, like I said, I'm gonna loosen these and kind of hold it here because this motherfucker should be loose already, you know? We're like slowly loosening the three 14 millimeter bolts that are on top, you know? And it's done, uh, see, it came up. So now we just gotta remove it. Be carefully, you don't wanna rip your brake line. And this is how it looks. Uh, as always, you gotta watch and inspect how it looks before you install it in. So I'm gonna take the, the new and the old and compare them. Let's get to it. Oh yeah. All right, so here we have our new one, our new uh, strut assembly, and this is our old one. Look at the difference with the blocks or the the struts and so forth. Um, yeah, this one's kind of had its day, you know. It's also cracked on the mount part. I don't know if you can see that, but remember, as I said, we're gonna inspect it on how it goes in and so forth. You know, sometimes there's a different uh, angle for these, so. We're gonna have to come inspect it and then put it back what we did in reverse. Just like slide it in and screw uh, just maybe three on top, not fully, just hand screw it. And yeah, we're gonna assemble it back together. Again, I wanna tell you that uh, they are not symmetrical. So you should know the way you pulled it out is the way you're gonna put it back in. So yeah, if you can't, then you won't even be able to screw these on good. So just remember that when you put it in. It has to be the way, the same way uh, you took it out on these. These are pretty beautiful. Look at that. That extra spring compared to the old one. Just only two fucking inch shit. Let's get this. All right. Before we go on putting the new strut onto the car, I want to tell you about this. This is thread locker. Yeah, we need this blue Loctite up in there. We're going to put it on the three uh, studs over there because this is an area prone to, you know, vibrations and so forth. You don't want these motherfuckers to get loose because you're going to feel some crazy bumps. So yeah, we're going to put some of these thread locker on those and we're going to put it up. Remember, uh, you're going to have a hard time if you don't put that in the right way, finding the right hole and screwing it on. But we're going to put some of this on uh, and then put the bolts on. Let's go. All right, like I said, we just hand tightened it. There's some thread locker in there because these these are like a high prone vibration area. Yeah, so we hand tightened them. And now uh, we're gonna try to put the knuckle on to this. Uh, my biggest tip for this is if you have a jack, you can kind of help your help yourself like push it up and you know get it into place so you could, you know, put it into the holes. But first, um, yeah, we're gonna clean these out, the bolts. And we're also gonna put some thread locker on those as well. All right, I don't like that rust, so we're just gonna kinda rub it down real fast with this uh, wire brush, you know? Kinda clean out the rust. And if anything, the next 50,000 miles, we can change it out easier and not have to put penetrating oil. So yeah, we're gonna hit it up with some brake clean. Look at that motherfucker turn back to silver. 
Uh, we're gonna let that dry, wipe it down, and then we put Loctite. Again, uh, we're just gonna use this uh, jack to kind of lift it up so it's easier to put into the hole. As you can see, uh, it'll be easier for us to, you know, get a hold of it and kind of put it in. But yeah, that's a life hack. We're gonna go clean out those bolts and put dreadlock, and then we're gonna put it in. Right here, ooh, baby. That's fine, you know. I don't know if you can see it, but I just put like a solid dab right there. Probably like a pea size of a Loctite. Like that. And that's it, man. That's all you're gonna need, man. Now, we're just gonna put it into the, put the knuckle back in and put our bolts this way, okay? The same way we took it out, same way it goes back in. Okay, we're gonna use the jack a little bit to help jack this up. First hole is okay, kind of. All right, so now we're trying to put the, you know, the screw that we put Loctite on and we're trying to put it in. A little life hack with the, the jack is helping us out. All right, so we kind of got our bolts in. Um, we're just gonna slide it through. And hopefully, it, two bolts are gonna be the hardest thing in this whole entire job. Yep, so after we, we're gonna put this, but not screw it all the way, but we're gonna, we forgot to put our sway bar. We're gonna put the sway bar in. So yeah, we put our, uh, our two 17 millimeter bolts in. We're gonna put the other ones on. Um, and we're gonna tighten these down. So when we finish tightening these down, don't forget, we gotta attach our sway bar. If it's not fully in, that might mean this is a little slack down. Uh, you can use a, a jack to kind of lift it up and then tighten it in. And then you can finally tighten the top when you finally, uh, uh, you know, finish this part. All right, so we got our torque, torque wrench. These screws are usually 25 uh, foot pounds, so we're gonna just torque them to specs. All right, so uh, the sway bar, um, it's about 40, 35 to 40 foot pounds of torque. So we got a torque wrench again. We're gonna torque wrench this uh, sway bar to the right torque. Good. And then for the two 17 millimeter bolts, it's gonna be about 65 uh, foot pounds on the torque. So let's go get that one. All right, so we're done with that. All right, so we're on the right side of the car. Um, the difference between the right and the driver's side is this one has the ABS. So it has the ABS wire connected here. You know, this is a 10 millimeter bolt. Yeah, so yeah, that's just the extra besides the 14, 2 17s, and the 10 millimeter bolt that you gotta take out. Uh, I'm not gonna show you, I'll just probably show you fast forward, and yeah. Again, yeah, that wire is just held together by this 10 millimeter bracket. You know, it might be a little more, uh, sketch when you take it out so just remember how to put it on these are usually on the inside and then of course the brake lines there and then the sway bar which comes out pretty easy uh, yeah now we're just gonna take this out and hopefully it comes out good and we put it in easy So yeah, that's pretty much how you put in the new strut assembly on a 2007 Kia Spectra. 
I'm not gonna show you about the other side because it's the same thing. You're just gonna do everything, but on the opposite side. So it's gonna be two 17 millimeter bolts that you're gonna get you loose. That's probably the hardest thing that you're gonna have to take out and the hardest thing you're gonna have to put in. So two 17 millimeter bolts that you're gonna have to take out. The sway bar is gonna be a 14 millimeter bolt. You're just gonna unscrew that one. And then the top part should be also a 14 millimeter bolt. But when you do change it, sometimes the top bolt changes when you get new parts. So yeah, biggest tip for you is when you put it in, remember how it's put in because sometimes it won't fit in those holes so it goes a certain way when you put it in. Um, when you do put in the top part, you wanna make it a little uh, hand tight uh, loose because it's gonna move around and it's gonna help you a bit more when you put in the, the bottom part on the knuckle on the two 17 millimeter bolts. And then yeah, don't forget to put in those uh, brake clips that you took out and yeah, pretty much that's it. Uh, Loctite on the 17mm bolts, Loctite on the, the top bolts. Uh, just because these areas are prone to vibrations well, because you know when they take the shock and so forth. But yeah, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't really want to show you the other side because it's the same thing. But I want to thank you for uh, watching and yeah, if you have any comments, you don't like what I did or if you like what I did, comment down below. If you have any questions, comment down below. I don't care how old this video is. I just want to make these videos to help out people who own 2007 Kia Spectras and at the same time, my other videos to help out people who own 2008 Kia Sportages. Uh, yeah, it was really hard for me to find uh, videos for these kind of things, so I made my own. And yeah, I'm also new to this. I'm a new rancher uh, dude at this and DIYer for cars because I got tired of going to shops paying the extra service when you could do it yourself. It's really that easy. I get my parts from Rock Auto, so yeah, shout out to them. Um, we're done here. We got a new strut assembly. It's looking sexy as shit. And uh, yeah, uh, subscribe to your boy. My name is Mark. Uh, peace out. Thank you for watching.